Christy and today I will finally be addressing my online catfish slash stalker story time that I put out last school year. It has been months. I know that this is so overdue but to be completely honest with you guys, I was never really planning on making a part three. I thought that the comments would die down by now. I thought that you guys would stop asking about it but if anything, I've just been asked about it a lot more as of lately. I believe that is because Andrea Russett was on Catfish on MTV and her story is almost identical to mine. So if you guys haven't seen the story times that I'm talking about that I put out months ago, watch those first please or else you will have no idea what I'm talking about right now. I'll link them below. The first is the original story time and then the second one is the updated version where I talk about how one of the producers from MTV Catfish reached out to me to be on the show and then I went to the police, etc. I realized that I never really gave you guys closure because to be honest, I've been trying to find that myself. I'm sorry if I'm speaking really quickly or this video just seems like it's all over the place. I'm really nervous and kind of shaking because this just makes me very uncomfortable to talk about. I still don't understand who on earth would do this kind of thing, especially to me, because if you are up to date with everything and have seen the other videos you know that I wasn't even a youtuber when I found these profiles that were first put out in 2013 they had been following my life for three consecutive years very closely along with my ex-boyfriend his cousin and a lot of other people that were our friends and family on there I don't know who has the time to do that or who would be that interested in my life I mean, Andrea Russett is a pretty big YouTuber, not saying that makes it right or that wasn't sickening what they did to her also, but it kind of makes sense why someone would use her pictures or something like that. Me, I am nobody. I mean, even now I have less than 100,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm not that like recognizable, I guess. Maybe that's why they would use my pictures, but the fact that they started using them Years ago, I don't understand. It was when I was a junior in high school. That's why I deactivated my Facebook after I discovered the profiles and all that went down. It really just scared me half to death. I didn't want them taking my pictures anymore, copying my information. I didn't know if they were in my friends list or not. So I did deactivate my Facebook, but I reactivated it yesterday because I knew that I was going to film this video as well as ask for your guys' help. So as I mentioned in the last video, the profiles blocked all my immediate family and friends as well as myself so that's why it took me so long to discover the profiles and the Facebook famous girl who messaged me with screenshots of the profiles let me log into her profile to view them turns out Gabe my ex he was actually dating her at the time I didn't think to mention that in the last video but I did tell some of my friends and they thought that it raised sort of an eyebrow like that's a red flag, Allie. That's so suspicious. Why would your ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend just happen to randomly stumble across these videos? Or, I'm sorry, these Facebook catfish profiles of you guys? And I get that sounds really weird, but she didn't know me and she didn't know my ex, to my knowledge, that many years ago. So, I don't really get what they thought was like weird about that, like where they were going with it. But anyways, a lot of you guys thought that it was my ex Gabe because as you know when I called him and told him that I found these profiles and I was scared, he supposedly called Facebook and then the profiles were pretty much immediately taken down. I didn't find out until further later on reaching out to him and he told me. So a lot of you guys were like, that's weird, he's trying to cover it up. Personally, I don't think that he was behind all of this simply for the fact that I don't know how he would have gotten away with that when I was dating him and with him all the time for like two years. I just don't know how he could have possibly hid that for me, especially considering that the profile of myself was up before we were even in a relationship when we were in a relationship. We are not together now, obviously. So that's why to me it doesn't really add up. Then again, he is crazy. A lot of you guys also said that it might be his cousin who lives across the country. I don't know the fake name that I gave for his cousin in the last video. Let's just call him Alex, okay? So you guys were like, it's probably his cousin Alex. Alex must have had something to do with it. I never actually met his cousin Alex because he lived across the country. And like I said, my profile was created first and then the cousins was created in like 2014 or 15. It was sort of later down the road. So I just don't really think it was him either. You guys could be totally onto something. I don't really have a better explanation other than those clues I just gave you or your guys' theories in the comment section, which was basically Gabe, 
Alex's cousin and then now maybe you guys may think that the girl who actually showed me the profiles was involved because I don't know. That was really weird how she just happened to find the profiles and everything. In the last video, I mentioned that one of the producers from Catfish texted me. They said to give them a call. I did. I wasn't able to get in contact with them until after I put out the update video. So I will be telling you guys about our conversation on the phone. So we got in contact finally. He said, hey, we think you'd be a great addition to the TV show. Let me hear your story. Let's see what we can do for you. I told him everything, pretty much everything that I talked about on YouTube. I told him how the profiles were deactivated once my ex gave supposedly called Facebook and then they were taken down before I even put up the first video. So it wasn't like the person behind the profiles is a subscriber and saw the video and got spooked and took the profiles down. It's basically either that Facebook was notified about it and they're like, oh, these profiles are fake and they took them down themselves or the person behind the profile took it down. So again, that's why a lot of you guys thought that my ex Gabe was behind it because suddenly they were taken down like right after I called him. Then again, the other theory is that, you know, my phone was tapped or his phone was tapped. So they could have found out that way. I told this all to the producer. They said, your story is really interesting. It's very unique. We'd seriously love to put you on the show. The only problem is we have to get the person behind the profile's consent in advance in order to start shooting. So the show is totally real. Like I would have no idea who the catfish person was until it was live and recording and all that. But Max and Neve, I don't know if they necessarily wouldn't know who the person was, but they would at least have them legally sign saying, you know, it's cool. You guys can further go along with the show and find out who I am and everything. And I guess majority of the time they get their consent because they're like, hey, look, this would really give the person some closure of why you impersonated them, etc. So it usually works, like they usually agree to it. But if the profiles are not active, there's no way to really do that and proceed. So because of that, that's why I was never on the show. But that's not to say I couldn't be on the show now if the profiles have been reactivated since then or somehow we were able to get them reactivated. So after I spoke to Catfish, you know, they said, look, call Facebook, get in contact with them again and try to see if there's another way to get the profiles reactivated because Facebook said I had to pay and my pictures were obviously attached to the Catfish profile of me so I could have that reactivated somehow. But the ones of my ex and his cousin and all these other people, I have no way of proving that I need those reactivated, like they're not me, I don't have the email address or the password or any of the information other than, hey, those are not real profiles, I want them reactivated to find out who's behind making all of them. So Facebook, they couldn't really do that for me as far as I'm concerned. I tried speaking to them about it many, many times and like I said, I just felt like I was hitting a brick wall with it because it's a very confusing thing to try to explain to someone like, hey, if someone made these fake profiles, they're not really me, but they're pretending to be me, and it's scary, and I know I want them taken down because that's not me, but I want them taken back up now because I want to find out who it was. So they were just like, what, basically? And I sort of gave up, and I just started to accept the fact that I may never find out who did this and why. I don't have that many screenshots because I didn't expect the profiles to be taken down so quickly, but what I do have is enough information for you guys to look them up, try to find them. I'm sure if there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to try to get back in contact with Facebook and finish the process, pay, or whatever I need to do to get at least one of the profiles back up in order for Catfish to message them or something. I really want closure on this. I don't like not knowing who did this and why, especially because it's a very scary thing and it went on for so long. It clearly wasn't a little joke that someone played on me. Like they actually didn't even want me to find out about it. So if you guys could please leave a comment below with some advice for me, that would help me out a ton. I really want to know what you guys personally think I should do going forward with the situation, how I should handle it, and the best way for me to get some answers. Again, thank you so much for your patience. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to put out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and that this gave you some better understanding of why I haven't talked about this since and what's sort of holding me back. But I will make a part four and hopefully the final video to this series if we are able to figure this out together and go from there. But besides that, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, comment, whatever. If you guys liked it, be sure to subscribe for more. And again, please, please, please comment down below how I should best handle this. I'll have the screenshots. Later alligators. Bye.